want you to shout this loud and clear just have those under the anointing say father i decree and declare that every legal access satan has over my life over my destiny i invoke the blood and i declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah Say in the name of Jesus, covenants of delay, covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression, covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid Abizal has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto frente kete. Ekra kata barakatos koto frente kete la katusia. Embra kapa katos koto prekete la kete baria kata. Shane kete shala katos koto frente kete balakata. hallelujah shout it very loud and clear say seasons of weeping seasons of shame seasons of embarrassment seasons of retrogression by the power of the blood come to an end in my life now lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray seasons of shame reproach embarrassment come to an end in the name of jesus come to an end in the name of jesus Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata Pratatos Koto Prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. 
Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood, by the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of infirmity. I challenge you by the blood. You have no hold over my life. Go, go, go. Lift your voice and pray. Go. Untimely death. The waster coming as ill health. The waster coming as disappointment in business. The waster, the Lord rebuke you. The spirit of the waster. The spirit of the waster. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens I decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny I take my place in life I take my place in destiny never will it be said Adam where are you I take my place Aleta kaparu kafesh, nakapranda kaparekesh, e protosko to brandi gebalia, kapra kaparako tosko to brandi gebalia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus. Come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cursed by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus. And the word of God I sanctify my dreams I sanctify my visions I sanctify my prophetic experiences no more manipulations no more wrong revelations open your mouth and pray pray declare sanctification 
The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Kaprenda gata baraka tosko tu brekia. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant i curse you now open your mouth and pray please pray open your mouth and pray every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you coming as a woman that sleeps with you coming as animals all kinds of demonic things curse them by the god of heaven Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now, at the count of three, any curse sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three. As you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Curses, be broken now. Curses, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time, curses, every curse powered by an altar, standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh kotega bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprakatos kotusa neka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who 
gave you anything or collected anything from you knowingly or knowingly and that became the token of witchcraft every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on a i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renewed their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by definition a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns i cost you right now the cause of firstborns i capatas kotebata i cost you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family 
you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now i want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now lift your voice and begin to cry to the lord in one minute but you shall receive power ebenezer the helper of men Salanda Sabrakato Sali Parashada Brahaskabaria. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were gathered together in one accord. Salata Parukata Pariata Kates. Don't be distracted, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted, be serious. Saparuta Saprante Kaparudia Laha Sabara. Parado Sapranda Kalapra Tessa de Bagata Sakateka Tepakata Proposo Topadia Tabara. The making of man, the making of man, the consistency that translates relationship to power. Haroda Shalam Prakato Setelesh Kaparuda Selesh and Prakatekate Pakato Prokato Sotobarikate. Swallowing up your weaknesses. Rakata Paruto Soto Predakate. Swallowing up your ignorance. Skabadanda Prakatoska La Pratekatusa Zyatahasa. Thank 
Ke pagao shala hu sa te kota zilata Empra koto soto paru kato sa prakete Empra kato shaleta prakete paru tos Prakata pakato soto prakete kate Ente prakete kate kate prakato sa pesh Shekete kate rakata prakato soto prakato ziasa Alleluia 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 Please everyone say after me in the name of Jesus Please shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus Tonight I declare A fresh reconnection To the ministry of the Holy Ghost Say Holy Spirit I desire A fresh relationship with you Lift your voice and begin to pray Ala paruto sopra gere balada ba. Sada balada mo si balada. Fresh relationship with the Holy Spirit. Parado sali prakato sala ten negate. Leka prakato soto prakato si ala paranda sala kosh. E prakato soto dos soto prakade bala prakata. Alleluia. Alleluia. Listen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Jesus said, My house. Whether it is a church building or your body, it is all his house. He said there is a name it must be called. It must be called the house of prayer. So if your body is the house of God, you prove that it is truly the house of God by turning it into a house of prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power lift your voice and begin to pray power in the heavens power from the realm of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord please look up look up everyone hallelujah the bible tells us in acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called melita the sea was boisterous and when everyone was panicking the angel of the lord appeared unto paul and told him there shall be no loss and the bible says they arrived safely at an island called melita and while they were gathering sticks everybody watch this do you know while they were gathering sticks there was a viper in the stick but because of how cold the stick was the viper could not be released the moment they set those sticks on fire the viper that was hiding could no longer hide it is because your life is too cold that's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed the moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest in one minute say in the name of jesus every planting 
that is not of the Lord in my life as I pray be exposed lift your voice and pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and I'll begin to minister. In the name of Jesus listen please listen the Bible says the moment John the prophet brought Jesus out of the waters it says the heavens open and the Spirit of God came remember power is always after the Holy Ghost now when the Holy Ghost came on Jesus he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of jesus be destroyed right now lift your voice and pray every destruction hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 the last prayer point has to do with your destiny it says lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will listen to me the gates of your destiny will never open until you pray let me show you a mystery and then i'll begin to minister are you ready acts chapter 12 from verse 1 please 
don't be distracted don't worry you will submit your request hang on we'll soon allow you to submit your request follow this scripture this is the last prayer point now about the time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church next verse we're reading the first 10 verses he killed james the brother of john with the sword and when he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of the unleavened bread except for verse 4 and when he had apprehended him watch this he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people this is the wickedness that prevails in our world the condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman you don't have to trouble anybody just arrive here and that's it you have satisfied the condition peter therefore was kept in prison talk to me southeast but prayer but prayer not and prayer but prayer was made how long the key is not prayer the key is consistency but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him now watch the miracle verse 6 and when herod would have brought him forth the same night while peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison seven my goodness my god behold an angel so there is a relationship between prayer and angels they don't just come they are instructed to come the angels would have when they killed james where were the angels it meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue are you getting what i'm saying now the same angels were still in heaven when they were killing james but when they caught peter they said enough is enough and they began to pray and the angel said now you authorize our ministry on earth and the angel of the lord came to him watch this and a light shined in prison and he smote peter by the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hand so prayer can remove chains we're examining what prayer can do the second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse please get this revelation next verse hmm. and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and he did and he also cast his garment and followed him so prayer can bring restoration his garment his shoes everything had been taken away from him prayer did not only remove the chains prayer brought back the things that he lost number three verse nine now this is where i want your eyes to be open he went out prayer can bring advancement he was in the prison and it was on account of prayer the angel said follow me it's time to go forward now watch this he followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision verse 10 and when they were past what the first and the second gates hold on in this story there are three gates to every man's destiny from the prison there was the first gate he was out of the first gate but he was not yet free the first gate he moved past the second gate he was no longer in the prison but he was not out either ways and he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate which led to where this is the gate that controls influence the moment this gate opens the city must receive your ministry please hear me you can be doing ministry you are not in prison but you are not in the city the iron gate is still a limitation 
the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be open i'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish these are mysteries the bible says the iron gate that led to the city and it opened on its own accord you can be in enugu for 10 years 20 years and you are just moving around you are moving in the open but in the realm of the spirit the gate is closed are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus every gate closing against my destiny be open now lift your voice and pray please help them lift your voice and pray Shele paruta sana bakaroto siata Empre kata para to soto prokoto sia Be open now Be open now The iron gate That opens up my business The iron gate That opens up my ministry The iron gate That opens up my destiny hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah no shadow human light up mountain human climber coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me no shadow human light up Mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No one you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. Are you praying for your destiny? No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No one you will kick down. A restoration of fire for the world beyond reading one verse per day, beyond just morning devotion. Get Hallelujah. Let's look up. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare the word of God that you know over every aspect of your life. Don't declare your problem. Don't declare what is wrong. Every scripture, no matter how little or much you know, you are going to open your mouth, place the word of God upon your destiny and leave it there. And watch the reaction that happens. Place the word of God. Is someone declaring? Gentiles come to my light Kings to the brightness of my rising In the name of Jesus I arise, I shine My light is come The glory of the Lord is risen upon me In the name of Jesus Christ I am an eternal excellency A joy of many generations In the name of Jesus Christ I'm planted in the house of God, I flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, I am fat and flourishing. My gates are continually open, never closed, to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My path is as a shining light that shines ever brighter. 
even on to the perfect day. A thousand fall by my side, ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The Lord stands by me like a mighty, terrible warrior. Pray, declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I rise up by revelation. The glory that excels working in my life in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I go from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from power to power, strength to strength, grace to grace. I am blessed because I fear the Lord. My seed remain mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright in my life are blessed. Wealth and riches remain in my house. My righteousness endures forever. The light of God shines upon my head, shines upon my feet. Don't be tired. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Declare long life. I declare longevity. I declare the fullness of my days. I serve the Lord. So he blesses my bread and my water. He takes sickness away from me. The fullness of my days. I fulfill. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me falls for my sake. Are you declaring? The Lord gives me a wisdom and a mouthpiece that no one can get saved nor resist the wisdom of God. Is at work in my life. Savor access to the hearts of kings, access to the hearts of nobles. Don't be tired. One or two more minutes. Be glad. Speak over your finances. In the name of Jesus, I operate by the wisdom of the Spirit. I know what to do. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be in one. He shall keep his angels charge over me. They bear me up on their wings. Lest I dash my foot against the stone. The Lord will deliver me from six things. In the name of Jesus, in time I will laugh. He will deliver me from the spotted thoughts of men. Because I have a covenant with the stone. I am exalted by the Spirit of God. The power of God is at work in me. Shining signs and wonders through my life. Jesus is glorified through my life. Jesus is glorified in and through this ministry. Man glorify God in me. Man glorify God in me. My light so shines before men that they see the good works of the Lord in and through my life and glorify the Father in heaven. Everything works in my hands. Nothing dies in my hands. I am a life-giving spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare from glory to glory, from grace to grace, my 
Go ahead and pray. The anointing of the spirit, the grace of God, is mighty upon my life. Walking wonders, walking wonders. The grace of God is at work in my life. In the name of Jesus, I am an exalted of the power of God, in the wisdom of God, the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, supernatural influence from glory to glory by the Spirit of grace. Ever loving Jesus, ever serving Jesus, ever living for Jesus. I have authority and dominion over principalities, over power. I have authority, I have dominion over causes, over love. In the name of Jesus, no enchantment, no divination, no pronouncement, no declaration, no enchantment with the heavens that walk over my life. I am immune by the power of the word of God. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as, as long as I am breathing. I am.
listen it was written so that it would not be changed it was written so that it would not be changed lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written many things have been written and i believe them i want you to leave this place this night not just saying i came to church i want you to leave this place this night with confident assurance it has been written concerning me and i engage it with understanding until my life becomes an effulgence of victory in the name of jesus christ and while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder shabakatoskiata Radoka Paruska Vedika Shadika Paruske Embrekete Pakatosa Prakata Makoske Parusiata Ah, you are there in your room, oh. you are there in your room. Listen, Jesus was not invited to hell, he entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up, he just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there having spoiled principalities and powers he made a public show of them triumphing over them in it listen one of these days you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things you will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit and you will see books with the names of your loved ones and you will tear them into pieces and say this is what has kept this family bound this is what has destroyed this family do you believe what i'm teaching you listen the bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death a man of god once shared a testimony and i shared it here i listened to him he said somebody was supposed to take a flight he missed the flight and the person was angry he now joined a train and the train crashed the flight too crashed you see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death whether it's bike whether whatever the devil there are people the devil does not want them to backslide he wants them to die that even in their backsliding states they are too useful to god's program he wants to get them out of the way ah minus you koinonia i said minus you in the name of jesus hallelujah i've seen the spirit of death oh i'm not just talking stories the basis of my confidence is not my visions it's the authority of scripture but you cannot deny what you see i think most believers are really really careless they just sit down and fold their arms you are watching the devil destroy people you are seeing your children become something that is a, and you are not fasting yet you are not praying yet you are busy trying to make money and then the devil will use the same children and kill you no way make up your mind that anything under i'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray i won't leave you like this in limbo i'm just showing you that god is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits these spirits that stand in the highway i hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits i have prayed for people who were driving they were not careless the steering locked it they would tell you they were not careless they were not drunk they were driving and the next thing the steering locked they tried to press the brake it was not there you will know that there are spirits you must die hallelujah With all due respect to medicine, 
how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients bodies some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners except that when a spirit arrived at theater he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body this is why we need people to be born again regardless what you do a business can, man can be on fire is one thing to know how to buy and sell is one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything and you as intelligent as you are you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark it's a joke god gave us brains and intents that we use them spirits are real their effect can be felt in the earth realm again let me pray for you in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to your destiny to your ministry to your family to bring shame and reproach in this end time we raise a standard by the blood 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 Please sit down hallelujah I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed I've shared it with the workers when we started meetings here about a month after then the officials here were going around this facility and when they went outside they saw something hanging in a leather and they thought who is it that just threw this thing there and the next thing they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm well concocted charm only god knows what the charm was supposed to do destroy koinonia destroy apostle joshua selman even a madman does not enter fire by mistake as as mad as a man is if he comes near fire he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys i don't say these kinds of things with any apology let me tell you the individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony on the spot and you believe i'm joking try it so that your life will be a lesson for others I didn't say one week later on the spot listen i have seen spirits i've seen jesus something happens to you there are things when you have seen you know how many charms this hand has held i'm not bragging i've shared with you my story people carry charms charms that are for families charms older than even my parents and I say, bring it to me. I know what to do. You go. You are free. Just leave me and the devil. Listen. I submit to you. And I'm sorry if I sound proud. But there are. God gave gifts to men. Are we together? No matter how mad. Listen. We have we've been in just where there was crisis crisis if his death I would have died in Zaria for years for many of you who know Zaria there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there in a whole you understand what I'm saying there is a way God trains you you do not fear again anybody that plants anything around your life and around, if I be a man of God in the name of Jesus Christ beginning from this night both them and the charm the earth will bury them yeah. hallelujah be sensitive oh be sensitive about what God is doing I just sense that God is settling tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil 
and you keep quiet you will watch him destroy your children destroy your reputation listen there are people today by god's mandate on their life they should not be this way but they kept folding their arms you know the kind of family you are coming from it is true that victory has been wrought in christ but there is a responsibility component don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down all your siblings have gone down you are still watching the gentlemen they travel abroad and return back like failures and losers even those who accepted the call to ministry you look at them and it's as if they are fake say father one more time say father in the name of jesus i take authority over every influence every spirit assigned to my life and to my destiny i stand in the victory of christ and i establish it in my life open your mouth in one minute and pray Establishing victory through understanding, establishing victory by faith, establishing victory by spiritual intelligence. hallelujah in jesus name let me give you one more prayer point say father every member of my family who is in bondage now i stand as a priest i stand as an intercessor and i declare by the blood of jesus they are released now open your mouth and start praying every member pray for your children pray for your spouse not under your watch in the name of jesus by the blood release them release them by the blood in the name of jesus release them by the blood hallelujah hallelujah can i give you one more before you sit down say father i declare that the fullness of my days i will fulfill every assignment of hell to take my life before my time to take the life of my loved ones before their time is hereby cancelled open your mouth and pray the fullness of our days the fullness of our days this is the heritage of the saints in light please don't be silent decree that he might test be justified in the air protected on land protected by sea protected hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord have you noticed that in recent time over this city there has been some demonic onslaught of people getting into vehicles huh have you had someone that it happened to that someone just and ah, i'm angry my spirit hear me I say this as one sent by God. Any kidnapper or any driver, one chance they call it or whatever it's called, in the name of Jesus Christ, that anyone who will pick any son or daughter of Zion, may my God judge them instantly. May my God judge them instantly. May the earth fight them instantly.
listen listen this is what happens in a territory when the saints are lazy you will think that these boys that are picking people and collecting phones and collect it happens in every society you see but have you noticed that there are seasons where it's like a pattern it's like a satanic grace just comes on people either stealing either irresponsibility the young people are not the ones it is a spirit taking advantage of their partnership with hell many families cannot have peace and all of that because of some kind of satanic thing anybody that nears your loved ones in the name of jesus christ i'm praying by the power of the holy spirit may my god judge them And if there is any loved one who has been kidnapped now wherever they are we set confusion in the camp of the enemy just because you are close to where the anointing is does not mean you will receive nobody was closer than God than the disciples and you would think they will receive and Judas the son of perdition did not even receive anything there were other people who came to the anointed jesus they received the healing and they left if the woman could touch the hem of his garment to be healed she would have touched the hem of his garment to be imparted to everything your faith can do around him that is consistent with his will he is more than willing to make happen tonight there are those who want to make money from jesus tonight there are those who just want to use him as a ladder to be famous but tonight there are people who are saying lord i have misrepresented my destiny because the power component that should rest upon my life as a man of god i have told people receive and i went back with guilt in my heart you may be saying i had to ask god some of you may be saying for forgiveness because i know that nothing went to the people they just shouted amen sincerely and came back with no testimonies it is those who are hungry and tired of their current level the disciples prayed and prayed and prayed and they did not see anything happen and they noticed that every time jesus prayed there was result they said teach us to pray there is something wrong with the way we pray it was not prayerlessness it was that they were praying amiss a prayer was not effectual it was not perfect it did not avail much hallelujah so this is what we are in for tonight one last scripture and we'll begin to pray and trust the lord to reign upon us acts 4 33 acts chapter 4 verse 33 please sit down if you can you'll be you'll be upstanding shortly Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and with great power not with great explanation with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and the Bible says great grace not just grace great grace great grace great grace was upon them all great grace was upon them all with great power with great power so i want you to know that when the holy ghost begins to rest upon people it's not just about falling down and rolling you can fall down and roll and not know what came upon you not know what left you and you stand up and that that revelation for some of you you see what is happening to you is not an impartation what is happening to you is the impact of your spirit as it is hearing the voice of god you will not know it's god speaking because he's not speaking to your mind it is after a week from now that what your spirit it has received will now filter to the realm of your mind and you will hear that this is what god has said direction for the next level of your life for some of you there are strange spirits that have kept you bound 
you want to serve God acceptably but these demonic spirits are responsible for the evil signatures that are written upon your life written upon your family you can choose to let them continue or you can be determined that it must come to an end today somebody was given employment and while he was rejoicing by the next day he woke up with an email and the email said that it was an error sent to his mail he was not part of those that got the quota for whatever reason how do you explain this kind of thing that you have held something with your hand just to give god thanks and it reverses i don't know who is carrying that kind of negative atmosphere that atmosphere must leave you this night hallelujah and then among the many things that god is restoring for some of you like elijah your altar needs to be rebuilt because that altar has been scattered no prayer no consecration no worship you are not a man of his presence again when it was time for that fire to fall elijah said put the 12 stones again according to the tribe of israel and he said pour water and then puts the sacrifice and he called upon the god of heaven and it descended by fire many of you need to rebuild that prayer altar it used to be one one hour two two hours every day as a routine a disciplined routine with revelation but you became too busy going for ministrations until your altar dried up it used to be your diligence to study the word but right now even if you sleep for 12 hours the moment you open the bible you feel sleepy again let me tell you for a certainty it's an attack because with the same tiredness you will sit in front of a movie and you will stretch another five hours and not sleep it is an attack from the pit of hell you must call evil what it is by its name some of you are business people and you know that things have not been working don't keep quiet when is the time to pray here is an opportunity and you are not paying for it insist that everything that does not represent god must leave my life and leave my business that from january up until now some of you it was at the point you covenanted with god that as i rise the kingdom will rise and satan said what did you say the kingdom you've mentioned kingdom in your business you have become my enemy for as long as it was all about you making money for yourself i don't mind but i heard you say jesus and his purposes the church the servants of god will benefit from your rising and it became warfare not business again how about students there are some of you god took you to campus you thought you went to study physics or chemistry but God took you there because there's someone you need to meet that is connected to your destiny and will help you spiritually. So that when you are graduating, you are living with two certificates. One it from your campus, the other from the school of the spirit. Because your parents would not have allowed you go for certain meetings. They would not have allowed you pray and fasted. And so God used the disguise of admission that whilst you are studying what you are studying, there is a training in the school of the spirit unfortunately when you got the admission you forgot that you were in two schools and you focused on only one and ignored the school of the spirit now you are in final year and you have just a few months and there is a curriculum you will need the grace for speed to catch up with the spirit because if you leave that campus without receiving the mantle you should receive you may not have that opportunity again Listen to what I'm telling you. I'm not just coming here to waste your time. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. There is a young lady here. God delayed your marriage because the person you would have married would have corrupted the destiny of the child that God had ordained to come from you. There is destiny like Mary. And because of that, God has been so meticulous about who comes to your life. You've been wondering what is wrong with me. I'm telling you there is nothing wrong with you. It's not an attack. There is something you need to hear that prepares you. After which you will be ready for destiny. Esther would have wasted her time 
if Esther had made a mistake and gone any other place, she would not be queen and her man would have killed the people of God. Everything God does, I taught you in the morning, is with respect to his will. With respect to his will. There are many of you who God has been training for a while. And you have been getting promptings in your spirit that you should start a walk. But God has prohibited you. You know why? Because there are things you need to know. And there are graces you need to receive. So that you will not join the queue and begin to frustrate yourself. And ask, oh God, but you sent me. Uh -uh. Tarry ye until ye be endued with power. Tarry ye. The Lord is showing me the photo of a lady. I'm looking at a body, but I'm not seeing a face. You can imagine. It's just like you put a black leather on somebody's face. And you are seeing a body and you are not seeing a face. And the Lord is saying that this is the mystery behind the shame and the reproach that has come upon your life and come upon your destiny. But in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, every high thing must come down, every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown, you overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. One more time. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. So as the Spirit of God begins to move tonight, I want you to know that he wants to reveal himself as the great power of God. The great power of God for impartation and for healings and for all kinds of things. I'm going to be praying for the sick. I'm going to be ministering deliverance by the Spirit. And if you are here trusting God for healing, I want you to insist that your night is the night. Tonight is your night. And while I minister, somewhere along the line, we are going to give you an opportunity to come and shame the devil as you testify of the goodness and the power of God. Hallelujah. Now, one final instruction I will give, and then we'll begin to pray. I want you to stand by faith, connecting with all your loved ones that are not here. When it has to do with this atmosphere of the spirit, you can have the faith of the centurion. You don't need to come to my house. I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to one, go and he goeth, come and he cometh. You too, I know from where you are, you can speak the word only. I want you to believe there might be someone sick at home there might be someone oppressed at home they may not be able to make it here they may not be following online but by faith you can connect that tonight this salvation is for me and my house do not bend to the negotiation of pharaoh when pharaoh saw that the fire was getting hot he said we'll allow your men but leave the women and the children back moses said no way everybody will go everybody Everybody, 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 everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Here's what I want you to do for me now. The first set of people that God is visiting tonight, prophetically, are people who have experienced strange, mysterious delays in life and in destiny. And the Lord wants to bring deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, when I speak like this and the Spirit of God begins to move, I want to plead that you please help me bring the people out by the Spirit of God so that we can make progress. There is a lot for us to do tonight. Every destiny that has been tied down, delayed, so that you will not make progress. In the name of Jesus, I am declaring right now, as the Holy Spirit comes upon you, that yoke of delay is broken. That yoke of delay is broken. That yoke of delay is broken. Broken by the Spirit.
spirit of the living God. Right now I declare that grace is falling on you now. The moment that anointing falls upon you, I want you to know that that chain is broken. In the name of Jesus, therefore I stretch my hands as many who have been delayed in life and destiny. Let that yoke right now as I speak, wherever you are, be broken now. Please bring them out. Let that yoke be broken now. The yoke of delay. I prophesy restoration as that delay is broken over your life. Broken over your life. Some of you are ministers of the gospel. That spirit of delay, I rebuke from your life right now. I rebuke from your ministry right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be set free now. Open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty from today. From the spirit of delay. Delay be broken. Delay be broken. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Pray and you could pray South East. The spirit of delay must lead your life and your destiny. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing three stones. One, two, three. And the Lord is saying it represents covenants of ancestry and that he wants to set people free. Many, many people you may not know, but as I pray right now, the Holy Ghost will descend upon you and every covenant connected to the earth that has tied your destiny as you shout the name Jesus, that grace comes upon you now. Satan, you let God's people go now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be broken now. Be broken now. Bring them out. Be broken now. I command my God, please help them. I cause foundation. Every covenant of ancestry. Every yoke of darkness. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Be set free. I bring you liberty now. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. Liberty by the Spirit. From all the regions that represent the east of the Niger, any family, any destiny tied to witchcraft, I say it again, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm seeing something like a ring being removed from the hands of people. And there are all kinds of wicked satanic covenants that have tied people. And the ring is a symbolism of covenant. I'm praying again. Whatever it is that is not of God, that has bound you to the devil, as I stretch my hands towards you, every evil that is not of God, that has not been planted by my God, let it be uprooted from your life now. 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 Hallelujah. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. Jennifer. My goodness. 
Please help them, help them. Be careful so you don't march on people. Just take it easy. I will pray for all those who are in front here now so they can return to their seat. Jennifer, I presume that there will be many people with that name, but I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Jennifer, I want to pray for you. Every planting, I'm going to pray for your family is using you. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you after this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me, I don't know if you are a couple or you came alone. Five years, you are trusting God for the foot of the womb. Please listen to the instruction. Don't just jump out. Five years. Who is the person? Five years. Five, exactly five years. I'm not saying you are just trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Five years. This is what the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Salvation has come for you. My friend, you, we have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. She's five years. My sister, look at me. I want to pray for you. Five years. And this is amazing. I'm praying. Ah. God is going to rewrite people's stories. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for this lady. But I'm hearing a shout from my right side. You would think that I'm praying here. And yet the person the power of God is touching is by my right side at the crowd there. And you are wondering, okay, what is God doing? What kind of impartation is happening to someone right there that I'm praying for people in front here and I've not even attended to their needs. And yet the person that God is touching is right somewhere at the back. Please, when you find that person, bring that person for me. It's a marvelous impartation that God is doing for that person. You will never be the same. It is a reign of the Spirit upon your life. My sister, five years you've been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. Where are you from? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Father, I don't care what the situation is. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of a higher priesthood, I stretch my hands towards you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Return with your miracle. I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you here I hope you are married in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare trusting God for the fruit of the womb my sister look at me this lady I just saw like fire come upon your head and the Lord is saying it is over this is what I announce to you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God let it come to an end by the Spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus now there are two ladies you are not married but you're going to begin to feel fire literal fire in your belly this one is a prophetic thing God is doing this one has nothing to do with it's like pregnancy but there is an impartation of the spirit there is something that God is doing it says out of your belly shall flow there is there is a stirring within your spirit man and what is happening to you is as a response to that hallelujah let me pray for those who are here first all of you who has come out my dear the lord is going to use you this lady wearing blue i release that grace now upon you you will never be the same by the power of the holy spirit may the lord find a mighty vessel in you in the name of jesus now for all of you who are here i stretch my hands everything that represents the workings of darkness the workings of witchcraft right now you are here standing i release you let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now, let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. from your life broken from your destiny never to return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Joel? 
Joel J-O-E-L I'm hearing a name Joel 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 is there someone with that name you are wearing like I'm seeing it like an orange t-shirt Joel is there someone like that an orange t-shirt this is what I'm seeing in my vision Joel please verify what is your name my friend come I'm under the shadow of wings. Your influence is all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Joel, look at me. What do you do? I'm a comedian, Mr. You are a comedian? Yes. <laughs> What is the relationship between comedy and ministry? Because this man, as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a mighty call of God upon your life. This is, this is, this looks like you are just making people laugh. But there is a grace that is coming upon you. You will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do. I stretch my hands. May that anointing for your destiny, let it rest upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for this Joel, in the name of Jesus, you are Joel also. I decree and declare, as you have believed, I release grace upon you. May God use you mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your father does woodwork, like a carpenter, like woodwork. What does your father do? Carpenter! <laughs> I am victorious My friend, listen to me God is going to use you to wipe the tears of your family Listen Because I'm looking at someone in my vision And this has been your prayer That God will lift you so that you will lift your family members Let me tell you the truth God is going to honor you in ways that will surprise you and as i'm praying for him i'm praying for everyone here may god raise you for the sake of your loved ones i say it again may my god raise you for the sake of your loved ones in the name of jesus christ there is someone here your mother has cancer this is what i'm seeing your mother has cancer I'm going to pray for the sick shortly, but just, just allow me to do what God, your mother has cancer. If there is such a person, please let me just speak over your life very quickly before we continue. Your mother has cancer. Whether you are outside, please, when you find such a person, let me know. And if it's someone who is following online, let me know. I want to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death. I want to pray for you. There is someone here as you are here now you are holding the photo of your loved one i think it's like someone who is sick a hard photo copy i'm not talking of a maybe phone by phone a hard copy of your loved one i want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies and and then you respond quickly so that we don't waste our time hallelujah you are holding a photo if you are that person let me just speak over your life before we pray hallelujah one two three four five six seven i'm seeing seven people in my vision and no no i'm not even talking of this this is for something else the seven people in my vision that i'm seeing i want to pray a prayer for them now and that prayer that i'm praying for them seven of you there is a mighty grace for leadership this is the anointing that is coming on you i want to pray for them seven there might be many people but this some of you do not even know that you have been called is a joseph order of grace i pray for you wherever you are seven of you may that grace right now rest upon you may that grace rest upon you apostolic leadership by the spirit of god may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace help them please may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus let me pray for you the one holding the photo i i can imagine that most of you are holding people's photos but i want to pray for you 
one of you right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon you i just saw like fire just come upon you there's one of you right now it's an instruction god gave me to wait until that happens and then i can minister to you in the name of jesus the son of the living god right now for the sick person you are holding ah i'm hearing another name even though i'm in the east i'm hearing how do how do i don't know if it's the name of somebody or your son name how do a u d you i believe that should be it this is the east but i'm hearing that name i'll do and i'm hearing restoration for that family i don't know who that person is but if you are in this place please let me minister to you otherwise i want you to open up your heart to receive i pray for all those who are holding their photos here in the name of jesus the son of the living god for every need that is represented in the photos of your loved ones may the god of heaven arise and visit them right now write this down there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus hear what i'm saying there is a mighty revival that is coming to your campus and some of those people are in this place right now i'm not even talking of fellowship leaders there is a mighty revival i started seeing this in the morning and the lord has given me the allowance to release that grace you are a student on campus here it's time for you to receive of this fire and this grace lord where are they the men and women that you are calling by the spirit in this season at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hand may this mantle from heaven that it will rest and ignite you with fire from whatever campus you are here represented father at the count of three let those that will spearhead your mighty move across campuses may this fire and this grace rest upon them now one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire upon the campus prayer like never before revelation like never before consecration like never before both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace both students and lecturers carry that grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman here i want to pray for you i hope i'm not wasting your time you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are from a royal family you are a gentleman from a royal family i want to pray for you there is something that destroys people where you came from royal make sure you are from a royal family please let me who is that person you are from the royal family where is that in little b in and what's the name of the um how do they how do you call it here so someone help me what was the in little royal family of river states okay how about you sir Nsuka. i don't know Nsuka. what family is there someone like that many of you may not know how about you i want to pray there is a spirit perhaps not all of you but the lord is asking me to pray you come from a royal family there is something we need to destroy even though it's a royal family people never become great and if anybody rises to be great it's like a sacrifice you start having dreams and that person must go down i want to pray for you why are these gentlemen coming you are from a royal family father in the name of jesus christ there are two of you here the call of god is upon your life the mighty call of god is upon your life call of god is upon your life i'm praying for you let me start with those two in the name of jesus christ the dealings of the spirit that will make you become powerful vessels may that grace be released upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace be released upon you and then for everyone here any covenant connected to the family you are coming from that kills people and destroys people in the name of jesus we declare that spirit leaves you once and for all 
hallelujah you have been looking for your brother this is almost four years and you have not seen the person this is what the lord is revealing to me almost four years it's like the person whether is missing or went somewhere but they've not been able to see the person they don't even know whether he is dead or the person is alive and the lord is asking me to pray the person is not dead with what i'm seeing in my vision somebody told him that they want to walk out a way for him and take him to europe to go out of nigeria in the name of jesus i pray for that family huh no listen don't, don't cry your brother who is that who is who is, who is your brother where from delta from from delta you are from delta yes, you've not seen him no for how long <laughs> three years he's about to travel abroad this one i'm talking about four years but i will still pray for you father in the name of jesus where are you coming from my friend i'm seeing a chain around you and the lord is saying lose him i declare right now let that chain leave you now in the name of jesus christ let that chain be broken from your life by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ i pray for you everyone who is missing in your life and everything that is missing in your life by the power that raised christ from the dead may it be restored now may it be restored now may it be restored now in the name of jesus now the lord wants me to pray against the spirit of death the spirit of death some of you will be surprised as i pray this prayer because you go to sleep and all you see are dead people that have already gone some of them calling you and you have prayed for some of you you have fasted and you don't know what is this thing that is connecting you with the dead i want to pray for you and bring a separation between life and death there is a gulf in the spirit and they should never meet anyone here who is a victim of the manipulation of the spirit of death right now as i stretch my hands may that grace come upon you for your deliverance be set free help them please be set free from that satanic influence i declare you shall not die i declare you shall not die I declare you shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.